Hello everyone, welcome to another video of slangs. In this video again, as we've been doing so, we're going to learn a couple of more slangs and their uses in English uh, 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 conversation and also in daily life. And we'll see some examples of the slangs, how to use them properly and precisely. Okay, and this is going to be the 17th number video of slangs. So after uh, watching this video, I just suppose that you would have learned 34 slangs and you are using them and they're helping you to speak good English. Okay, let's start. Here, the first one is I'll help you plus verb. I'll help you plus verb. Look at the description. This lets you inform someone that you are willing to provide assistance. This could refer to something physical or mental like helping someone to think or remember something okay it could be physical or it could be mental or it could be anything for example you may say i'll help you to arrange money i'll help you to move on i'll help you to go there whatever okay so you're informing someone that you're willing to provide assistance or you're willing to help him in some matter it could be either a physical help or a mental help we, we will see in our further examples how to use this slang properly in proper english okay so let's start here i'll help you cook dinner tonight i'll help you raise money for your charity i'll help you move to your new house i'll help you prevent that from happening again i'll help you to park your car i'll help you to provide all the information you need i'll help you to realize your potential i'll help you to stop smoking uh, okay from here i remember one story one short story and uh, i guess it is better to share with you well in 1983 in cricket world cup india beat west indies and the west indies you know they were the toughest side of that time and uh, somehow they lost to India in the final. And later on, they you know contacted with the Indian Cricket Board and they asked for a series that they'll play in India. So Indian Cricket Board, they agreed. West Indies came to India and oh my world. You know, they were simply, they were just, you know, their ballers were unplayable and no one was surviving against those ballers. So, you know, uh, test series went like this, I guess then in uh, ODI uh, went like this or test series kind of went like this, something like this happened. And then someone talked with Sunil Gavaskar, who was a very good batsman. And then someone told him, though they are good ballers, but you are also Sunil Gavaskar. So, you know, what happens in the next match, he hit first, uh, you know, uh, four fours in the first over. So actually what they did, they give him some ethical sport to help him, help him realize his potential. And I guess the baller, I, I forgot the name of the baller. He said, from that moment on, I realized that from today on, the Indian cricket is going to change. So it's a story that I remember when someone helped Sunil Gavaskar to realize his potential. Okay. So after, you know, looking at this example, I had this story in my mind. So I... Uh, thought it, it is going to be a good thing if I share with you. Okay, let's move on to the next example. I'll help you to shop. I'll help you to find the job. So simply you are telling to someone that you're willing to provide some kind of assistance in something. I'll help you to cook. I'll help you to buy. I'll help you to go uh, there. I'll help you to study, whatever. Okay, now let's move on to the next one. Here, this one is, I'm dying to plus verb. I'm dying to plus verb. Again, it's a very beautiful slang. I'm dying to plus verb. You cannot wait for something to happen, okay? Let's look at the description. When using the word dying in this manner, you are referring to wanting or desiring something greatly. You cannot wait more, okay? I'm dying to see you, for example. It means you are waiting for it greatly or you're deciding something you know 
very passionately and you won't, you cannot wait anymore okay i'm trying to go abroad for example i'm trying to pass my result whatever now let's look at some examples sorry i'm trying to pass my exams i'm trying to listen to the result this was what i wanted to see okay next one i'm trying to relax on the beach i'm trying to pick some fresh fruit i'm trying to order some desserts okay a dessert sorry i'm trying to find out if i got the job i'm trying to move to a bigger house i'm trying to look at the work you have done okay I'm trying to learn more about you. I'm trying to introduce you to my parents. I'm trying to expand my business. I'm trying to see you. I'm trying to go abroad. I'm trying to play soccer. I'm trying to see our new campus. I think at that time when I was making this uh, PPT, uh yes we were about to move to our new campus of our university so before we were living in east campus and and uh, you know and uh, after a couple of months when i wrote this one we moved to the new campus and that was very beautiful one the top of the mountain so that's why i wrote this uh example here that i'm going to see our new campus actually i was trying to see our new campus at that time okay I'm dying to support my family. Everyone is dying to support his family again. Okay. I'm dying to get along with you. I'm trying to watch new movie. So again, these are two example, two slangs we learned in this video. I hope you understand them well and you can use them in your daily life English conversation or English speaking. I'll see you in the next video of slangs. Okay. Keep watching these videos and keep learning well. If you find some problem, you're welcome to write your questions or queries in the comment section and I'll be happy to reply to them. I'll see you in the next video. Take care of yourself and your families. Bye-bye.